I was interested in a girls' school because I'd heard that they were better academically and socially. Um, there was less pressure, there was more opportunity to be yourself and, you know, more freedom. And I just wanted to try it out. And I came from a school with mostly majority boys, so it was a very big difference, but I'm glad I came and it's definitely been great. All schools are justifiably proud of their long and distinguished traditions. But if I were a parent looking at boarding school with my daughter, I would want to know what has the school done in the last five or ten years that will directly affect the welfare and the experience that my daughter will have at your school. I am especially proud of the $20 million investment that Greer has made in new facilities. We have focused this investment on three areas, academics, dormitories, and what we call our signature programs. In the area of academics, we've built a new classrooms building, a state-of-the-art science center, and a very contemporary new library. Our dormitories have been completely renovated, right down to brand new bathrooms and new furniture. And we've added six residential cottages. These cottages range from six to 12 girls in a house with kitchen facilities, recreational facilities, and of course, a full-time house mother. In the area of what we call our signature programs, Primarily in the arts, dance, and music, we have built a new, very state-of-the-art performing arts center. We have a new music and art facility. The third signature program at the school is our horseback riding program. We recently built the largest indoor equestrian center in the Middle Atlantic states. We also have built new tennis courts. We've built or acquired faculty residences. We've built a new really state-of-the-art physical fitness center. I'm really proud that we have been able to become one of the most contemporary campuses in the boarding school world. I think today the key word for an all-girls school is empowerment. There probably has never been a better time in the history of the United States to be a 14-year-old girl. I see an all-girls school base in high school as being really beneficial to the, to the college experience. I think what a school like Greer does in an all-girls environment is we actually really build their identity, um, make them feel confident and strong, and they actually know their value. They know, um, they know themselves well when they leave, and so therefore when they encounter some of these situations that they will encounter in college, they're more confident and able to deal with them. You see the girls just acting like girls. You know, there, there's just a lot more freedom in the classroom for the girls to be who they are and to show how smart they are, to show how creative they are without, you know, boys looking over them and putting them down. I also notice that girls, um, when, when the boys are, are not around, they really take on a different persona themselves. They're more confident, they're more willing to, to speak, they're more willing to come up with ideas without worrying about the boy sitting next to them or how their hair looks or whether they have the right outfit on. But I like that it's an all-girls school because you feel more free to say what you have to say without really, you know, worrying about what other people say about you, what boys would think about the way you look. So re that's really not important here and just go to classes as you are and you go there willing to learn and that's what's really important and, and just it gives a sense that, like it, it's a really tight-knit group because we're all like sisters by the end of the year. So it, it really helps that it's all girls because you feel that support from the other people. So that's nice. At Greer, every girl is encouraged to be self-confident, to be a leader, and this really is the essence of empowerment.